everybody. My name is Jenny Lacer. I am a physical chemistry professor here at the University of Pittsburgh, and I want to take you on a quick tour of our facilities. So right now we're standing in the lobby of the Chevron Science Center, which is one of our two chemistry buildings here at Pitt. Um, and so this is a building that holds a lot of our teaching classrooms, but also a lot of the research labs as we go up on the higher floors. So I'm going to take you up to the admin office on the second floor. So this is a sort of lobby and lounge area that's often filled with students teaching. Right now the university isn't in session, um, but this is often a place where we'll have a lot of students during the semester. So this is our admin office and our department chair is in that office over there. And this is Michelle. She's an awesome, awesome uh, admin over here. <laughs> So now we're going to take an elevator up to the stock room and then we'll go visit some of the uh, shared instrumentation facilities that are on the higher levels of this department. So this is our third floor stock room and so as you can see we have dry ice and liquid nitrogen um, and then when we order packages and chemicals and things we come to pick them up over here. Okay, so now we're on the fourth floor of Chevron. And so we tend to spend a lot of time coming through the fourth floor because uh, the fourth floor of Chevron has our chemistry instrumentation center. So come on in here. And so the chemistry instrumentation center is where we have all of the mass spec X-ray and NMR instrumentation that students throughout the department use as part of their research. Uh, so in here we have the x-ray instruments, and then a bunch of math specs. And then this is our NMR facility. And so as you can see, we have a number of different magnets of different field strengths ranging, ranging from a 300 megahertz magnet up to a 600 megahertz magnet. Um, and some of these instruments are available on a walk-up basis. Uh, some of them we schedule time on when we need to use them. Um, but these are really frequently used by all of the students in the department. So now we are going to walk over to the other chemistry building, which is Eberly Hall. And so Chevron and Eberly are actually connected by a tunnel, which is really nice when it's cold and wet outside. You don't have to go outside to go to facilities in the other building. Okay, so Eberly Hall has a bunch more research labs in it. Um, but it also has a bunch of shared facilities that we use in this department. So we won't have time to go up and visit, but the electronics shop is on the third floor of Eberly, and they're super helpful when we have problems with the electronics in the lab. Um, we also have a glass shop uh, to help prepare glassware and uh, make novel glassware that you need for your research, um, as well as a machine shop, which my group makes quite a bit of use of. Um, in addition to the research labs and the shared facilities, uh, Eberly also has um, some of the uh, instrumentation for our materials characterization lab, and so we'll go take a real quick look at that. So this is one of our materials characterization lab facilities. And so this lab has uh, a Raman microscope and a couple of AFM instruments. Um, and so especially for people who are doing a lot of materials chemistry, these are really useful things for us to be able to use. There are a number of other uh, characterization facilities available on campus. Um, and so if you go check out our video tour of the Millstone Lab, um, you'll see a quick sneak peek of part of the nanoscale characterization of fabri uh, fabrication facility. Um, and so uh, we'll just end our tour by heading outdoors and I'll show you the patio between the Chevron and Everly buildings so that you can kind of see how they're connected. So 
this is the patio between Chevron and Everly. And so we just came out of Everly over there. And then the Chevron building that we started in is over there. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of the department and that it gave you a bit of a sense of uh, where you might be working if you come to Pitt. Um, and I hope that we'll see you here at Pitt in the fall. Thanks very much.